Good morning, everyone. It's the 19th of April, 2024. Mark is going to begin reading through the book of First Peter today. <clears throat> Peter was probably one of the strongest teachers on election. Next to Christ and Paul, Peter was a very strong teacher on election. He says in the second verse of this chapter, elect. Well, I don't think he would address the elect if the elect doesn't exist, which a lot of people deny election. But he starts out by saying elect according to the foreknowledge of God. And he's not talking about just God looking down through the portals of time and, and seeing who's going to choose him through their free will. God foreknew who his elect was because he chose them in him before the foundation of the world, Ephesians 1 and 2. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. It doesn't leave out the blood of Jesus Christ, like my friend charged me with yesterday. It doesn't leave out Christ. It says, it doesn't leave out the Spirit of God either, sanctification of the Spirit on the obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Christ. Grace. What is grace? Grace is unmerited favor. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. We don't minimize the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ. We magnify it, but we also magnify the fact that we are elect. Verse 5, who are kept by the power of God, that's preservation, through faith. Where does faith come from? Through Christ, unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. And he also says that receiving the end of your faith, we don't drum up our own faith. We receive it through Christ. Even the salvation of your soul we receive. And he says that he preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. The Spirit bloweth where it listeth, and no man knoweth the sound thereof. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit of God. And he also says that, um, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. Do you hear that, former classmate? I'm proclaiming the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. But what's the next one say? Who was foreordained before the foundation of the world? Christ was slain from the foundation of the world. Yes, he appeared in time, but he was barely was foreordained before the foundation of the world. Who by him do believe in God, not by our own free will. By him do we believe in God. He's the one that gives us faith. That your faith and hope might be in God, not in free will. So I'm going to turn this over to Mark and have him read this whole chapter. Peter was a very strong teacher on election. And, you know, there needs to be a lot more people talking about God's elect. There are particular people who been given the grace of God. Here's Peter chapter 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, the stranger scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit and the beings and the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again and to life of hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. To inheritance incorruptible and defiled, and the faith is not away reserved in the heaven for you. Who are kept by the power of God through faith and the salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. 
wherein ye greatly rejoice through now proceeding, if need be, if ye are in heaven, is through manifold temptations. Trial of your faith, be much precious than of gold, that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found in the praise and honor and glory in the period of Jesus Christ. If you have not seen, ye love, and whom, though now you see him not, yet believe ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently and prophesied the grace that should come unto you. Searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ, which was in them, did signify, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed, but not unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you, the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, the things the angels desire to look into. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober in hope to the end of the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient, short, and fashion yourselves according to the former lust of your ignorance. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect to persons judges according to every man's work, Pass the time of your sojourning here in fear, for as much as you know that you are not redeemed with the credible things of silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, it verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world that was manifest in these last times for you who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in God. See, ye have purified your souls and obey the truth and the spirit of the unfaithful love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Be born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. The word of God which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass and all the glory man is a flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. The word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Okay, well, again, I want to just restate it again. Peter was one of the strongest teachers on election in the Bible. We all have a blessed day today. And just never forget that he was verily was foreordained for the foundation of the world. And we are his elect children. If, in fact, he has predestinated us into salvation and called us by his Spirit. 